Hey everybody, Jman105 here, back with another video for you on CCGs. And I'm switching over to Magic for this video, Magic the Gathering. Uh, I have been asked if I was going to get into it, like in my previous show, The Basics, which I am. And I'm starting with Casting Cost. And in the middle of a Magic the Gathering game, Casting Cost is something that can help you or hinder you. And I'm going to explain to you why, and I'm using cards from my Mono Green deck to showcase this. So, let's start talking about it. Now, when you're playing a game of Magic the Gathering, you have to have land out on the table to be able to tap to bring out your cards, aka creatures, instants, whatever, sorcery. Some cards are very easy to cast, and again, this is from my green deck, so I'm going to show you the card giant growth only costs one mana to bring out. So I would tap one land by turning it to the left. So that land is tapped, giant growth can go out on the table and do what it needs to do. That's a small example. Cards have different casting costs. So something like giant growth that only has one for a casting cost Stalking Tiger costs four to bring out. It's a 3-3 three, three creature, so the higher you get, the more powerful creatures you have and the more powerful cards are going to cost more mana to bring out. Cards like Aggressive Urge only costs a total of two mana. It's a decent card. Target creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn, and, and you can draw another card. Spined Worm, you're getting more into a power creature. 5-4 four, uh, five, four costs five to bring out. One of my heavy hitters, which I do use a quad in this deck of, is Scaled Worm. It's a 7-6 creature, but it costs 8 mana to bring out. Now, a lot of people are under the misconception that they need more of the bigger creatures in their decks to be able to win. Not true. When you have a bigger creature that's like a 6-6 a, a or a 7-6 or anything in that area, it's going to have a high cost to cast it to be able to bring it out. If you try to bring it out too soon, if you have them in your hand and not enough mana on the table, what are you accomplishing? Nothing. You can't get it out. You want to populate your deck with cards that have a small to a medium casting cost and maybe have one quad of something that's a heavy hitter that you can save for later, like I've done with my green deck. Most of my green cards have casting costs between 1 and 5 for the most part. I only have that one quad of Scaled Worm that costs 8 to bring out because I know unless the game goes on for a while and I really want to put a stranglehold and have the mana out on the table, it's not going to be able to come out. It's either going to be sitting in my hand or it's going to be sitting in the draw deck and I'm not going to be able to do anything with it. So you have to take this in mind when you're building your deck. It's good to have a certain percentage of mana as I mentioned on previous videos in the basics. But you also have to take into consideration the casting costs of the cards that are going into your deck. Whether they are creatures or instants or anything like that, even walls. You have to pay strict attention to this because you don't want to have a hand of all high cost cards when you don't have enough mana out on the table to get them into the game. Truth. So keep that in mind when you're building a deck for Magic the Gathering. 